welcome to Bird Room Broadcasting. I'm Robin Sharp. And I'm Georgie Gray, and this is your number one resource for parodies, entertainment, and real news. Five African gray parrots in a wildlife park have been removed from public view after multiple complaints from visitors said that they caught the parrots swearing. Martin has the story. Thank you, Georgie. I'm here at Lincolnshire Wildlife Park with program director Nigel Nightingale. He's actually the first person who discovered the parrot's foul language. Uh, that is right. Uh, we got five greys in last week, and quite a few of them had potty mouths, so we quarantined them, and they taught bad language to the other one. So now we've got a whole cage full of potty mouths. Or potty beaks, as the case may be. Are you sure parrots have foul mouths? Fat ass Nigel! You can flock right off! Oh, I'm sorry that you just told me to... Are you sure that was a bird? Oh, quite so. That one was Billy. He's the worst of the lot. He's been after me since he got here. Billy has a personal vendetta against you? Yes, he does. Every time I walk by, he's like, There goes Nigel! Fat ass Nigel! I mean, I know you've got a few kilos to drop, right? But I'm working on it! Don't need any rude comments <laughs> from the parrot gallery. Yeah, you too! It's a bird. It's a winged serpent. Oh. My. God. <laughs> oh my God! First of all, first of all, hi. Try results with Tracy, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Second of all, where are all the Carson parrots? I came all the way from New York for this. I'm just looking for some entertainment, you know what I mean? The birds in question have been sequestered in order that they may learn more family-friendly vocabulary. Why? Why would you leak something to the news and then not deliver, you know what I'm saying? I want profanity and I want it now. Well, ma'am. Oh, oh, oh. There oh, is a good oh. percentage of chance that many people would be offended by such language and we must not take any chances. Like who? You know what? Man up. So the bird called you a fat ass. Consider it free advice. Has anyone complained about the birds? No, they. they love it. That's what I thought. You know what I think? I think that perhaps you should be fired, okay? And maybe sued for loss of park income. That's what I think. I think I would like you to meet Billy's friend, Tyson. I would like that. He's almost as gentle oh, as you Tyson. Are. <laughs> well, you heard it here, folks. It's not. No! 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 I can't make this with the fuck! Oh, hi, Ma. Oh, my God, I'm on TV. Guys, I just met Tyson, and it was everything. He called me a hot piece of <laughs> and said I had <laughs> and beautiful <laughs> Oh, yeah, and he liked my lips, too. <laughs> Merlin, the African Grey, has thrown his feather in the ring and officially announced his run for presidency. Well, hopefully his run for presidency won't be as foul-mouthed as Billy and Tyson over there in England, right? Well, from what they're saying here at BRB, his campaign materials, mm, not quite as refined as Leo's. Well, of course not. Nobody could have quite the refinement of Leo. In fact, if you'll notice, in last month's Feathered Fun Box, Leo had a beautiful display of campaign materials. The Feathered Fun Box, your favorite pair of toys subscription box for not only your parrots, but getting a special gift for you <laughs> never hurts. And you know what you also get? You also get a bribe if you're a voter. No, you absolutely do not. That's that's not, not a thing. Really? Because uh, maybe you could tell me what this penny is? Oh, well, that is the symbolism that Merlin has put in his box for rising up out of being poor and the money that's in his cart, clearly, really? obviously. Really? Symbolism. So worth your while. What What is that symbolic of? A vote uh, or a bribe? Uh, that is, um, what are you doing with a feathered fun box anyway? Because you don't even have a bird, so well, that's quite irrelevant. You know, <laughs> what does they she know? give you a gift. And it's awesome! <laughs> you know, you're just quite the shopper, you know? You'll just uh, buy anything just to get <laughs> for free. So yeah. Anyway, why don't we just <laughs> check out Merlin's uh, campaign video. Hello everybody. I'm here to talk about your next president, Merlin. That's right. If you're looking for change and more funding for the lower income, for the middle class to have a better chance in life, Merlin's your man. Merlin grew up in the slums. He was a little birdie with no chance, but he turned himself around. 
and ended up becoming one of the most successful truckers in Harriet Station history. He has seen every state inside and out, and he's willing to represent each one of these states. Now listen here, people. This is a time for change. We need somebody who knows how to run on a budget. Now come election time, there's only one bird to vote for, and that's Merlin. Just like Merlin built up his life again, he can do the same for Parrot Station. This just in, a parrot may help put a murderer behind bars. 46-year-old Elizabeth Toledo was murdered in her home. While authorities were outside the crime scene, one officer heard what he thought to be Elizabeth crying for help. However, it turned out to be her parrot mimicking her last words. The parrot's words will now be used as evidence in her trial. That bird must have been heartbroken. Yeah. Her last words were... I por favor solta me, which translates to, no, please let me go. That's so sad. Do you think the bird needs a home? It's in Argentina. You're not going to Argentina. The weather in Argentina is 71 degrees, which is just perfect for a short little trip or even a sporadic vacation. You're not going I mean, I know that there is a small chance of rain in Argentina, but honestly, I mean, that never scared me because I'm from the East Coast, so actually, I really miss the rain. I mean, I know here in Los Angeles, it's like just a little bit of drizzle and everyone's like, oh my God, the apocalypse is coming. I mean, honestly, I feel that way now too, but I'm not scared. And now for our celeb Burr D News. Flight House member Vinny has just dropped his first album. His one track, Shall We Dance, is really gaining some traction. Let's have a listen. That, that was a, a great track. <laughs> you know that the producer on that was actually Megan Murphy. Megan, parent station Megan? Yeah, she's actually a singer. <sighs> With her really talented over there. <sighs> oh yeah, parent station is quite the group of talented people, what can I say? Vinny even has a few collabs with Box of Beats. Oh, that's really exciting. You know what? I think we should have Vinny on for an interview next week. That would be a lot of fun. That would be amazing. I love going to Parrot Station. Mm -hmm. You can find the coolest merch, except let me tell you, you might not know when it arrives because I don't even know when I ordered this mask. Okay. I can't even remember. What are they doing over there with the birds? Those are handmade masks. What do you expect? <laughs> okay, you know what? Don't even talk to me. Fine, right. don't talk to me. Fine. 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 Oh my me. god, I can still talk to uh -huh. this. Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you can, can get, get these mask and other merch. ParrotStation.com. Mm -hmm. Check out our new show, Parrot Top Chef. It's on YouTube. Exclusively. It's Marlene McCohen's show. Oh, the Marlene McCohen. You yep. know what? Has anyone spotted her recently? Because yeah. I heard she had a mental breakdown. Okay. She moved to Argentina. What? She's searching for <laughs> lemons. She has gloves, supply of windex in her backpack. She bought a backpack. Yeah. She's wearing scrunchies oh. in her hair. Oh, okay. She has well. lost it. She's wearing pajamas. Oh. There. For the last time, nobody needs to film below the waist on YouTube, okay? I have a lot more to do than wake up the bottom half of me. Well, thank you for watching. Tune in next week for another exciting episode of Bird Room Broadcasting. And don't forget to check out Marlene McCowan's new show, Rewind, on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I'm Robin Sharp. And I'm Georgie Gray. See you next time.